Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. Joy Nightingale. And today we have landed right here in Niagara Falls, Canada. Now, people always wonder, with our videos, our entrance, we always say, we have landed here today. What does that mean? Are we talking about a ship in the ocean? No. We're talking about a plane coming in? For no. I like that term because I think of aliens. Our flying saucer has come and landed in these awesome attractions. So, when we learned there is a restaurant named Fly. The Flying Saucer Restaurant in Niagara Falls with my love of aliens, we had to come check it out, oh, yeah. get a meal, mm -hmm. bring you along, film the video. Mm -hmm. So, without further ado, The Flying Saucer Restaurant, let's step right up, let's go for this ride. We have come here for your burgers. Flying Saucer Restaurant, eat. I don't know if the alien theme continues inside. I can't see how it couldn't. But looking at the building, having a flying saucer themed restaurant is pretty cool. It looks like two flying saucers actually land next to each other. Oh, I like it. The left side's takeout, the right side's dining. We're gonna dine in in the dining room. Awesome aliens and good theming all around. We got some flying saucers. Theming continues to the menu with the flying saucer news. Looking like a tabloid. Onlookers couldn't believe the rise. In just short time, thousands of curious spectators converge in the area in an attempt to make contact with the extraterrestrials. Always fun when the menu's theming continues. Blast off his appetizers. E.T. favorites, finger foods, because he used to go E.T. phone home with the one finger. Jumbo hot dogs, largest in the universe. I like universal favorites. Encounter of a chicken kind. Oh, I don't know what to go for. We even get space trivia on the map. Joy, how many times greater is Earth's gravity compared to the moon's? She got it right, answer was six. I don't know if she already cheated or she knows. <clears throat> when was the first UFO recorded by man? <laughs> Wait, what number is that one? Nine, you can cheat now. <laughs> 3,500 years ago. 3,500 years ago, wow. Over, sorry, over 3,500 years ago. How many pounds are in our solar system? You don't have to look for that one. Wait, it changed because we learned, well, I learned as a kid Pluto was on it and now it's not or something like that. I still count Pluto, I'm saying nine. I don't care what the menu says. <laughs> the menu agrees with me. It counts Pluto as a planet still. I always love you don't see in America. Next to the ketchup, the white vinegar for the fries. We're gonna try some pierogies. Sears using the fork. May the fork be with you. <laughs> So, from what I could tell, the diner is cool. It has theming in this room. But other than that, it's a regular diner. But we'll see how the food tastes, and that's what is the most important thing. Dinner is served. I went for a hot up and roast beef. Joy went for a bacon burger, and yes, we got Canadian bacon because we're in Canada. I like the triple patties and, and a ribeye sub with homemade gravy for those fries. Sub, 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 sub. And on that note, if you will subscribe to our channel, we won't mind. And you could like this video, just like I'm gonna like eating this hot open roasty sandwich. Food all gone. Don't pay any attention to those vegetables in the cup behind the plate. Food all gone. It was good. Joy, you're enjoying your food? I had a bite of Joy's ribeye sub. Tastes like really good White Castle hamburgers. And now she's devouring a hamburger. Eat your hamburger. We found an alien. Please do not touch the alien. He does not like that. I like as Lewis emerges into the future. Fireworks, flags, banners. What is this? A 41st century, 4th of July. We have Superman over there. I'm only here for beer. Finds up the fate of Earthlings. 
that do not pay their bill. The fate of Earthlings that do not pay their bill. He's the aliens dinner. Uh, we just came out. Now, you can see the lights on the roof going. Pew, 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 pew. The spaceship might take off. A little tasty treat here at the Flying Sir Sur Restaurant. Um, mildly themed. The shape of the building is the selling factor, I would say. I think so. The big sign out front is also a selling factor. Food was diner food. Definitely. I wouldn't say anymore. Would I come again? Yeah, I like diner food and I like aliens and it's a fun theme, so yeah, I would. You like aliens? Come eat at a Flying Saucer restaurant. I approve. But the best thing I have to say about the restaurant was our waitress was awesome. Service here was great. Very attentive. It made me happy. I never complain when I have hot open roast beef. I wish there was like a food item, like some of the names were alien themed, but something that like, I mean, I don't know how you make alien themed food, but I wish somehow there was alien themed food. <laughs> Cute decorations. I mean, it's small once you get inside, so there's not that much room for them to pump yeah. in alien stuff. It's like regular plates, not like, like fun flying saucer plates, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it greatly. It so good. I think we could call it. I think so. Flying Saucer Restaurant here in Niagara Falls. Been yeah. there, done that. Remember folks, safe travels. Good eat. And live life. I mean, look how cool the sign is. The alien ship on top is moving. It is rotating, the alien ship. Whoa, we come in peace. Give us cheeseburgers.